Well, fretboards are usually um, the biggest challenge and mystery to a lot of us when we first start making instruments. This fretboard is for a ukulele. And um, a young man was here in West Virginia visiting family and uh, came to the shop where I demonstrate my instruments and asked some questions about making, how do I measure and how do I make my frets, fret boards. So I demonstrated that I measure as carefully as possible and make a template, a wooden template for myself. Then I'll clamp it to the fretboard material and with a razor blade make a nick for every one of the fret slots and then go in as I've done here and um, widen the slot out with a razor blade and then finally with my okay I've got all the little frets marked with just a point of the razor blade just a little nick and I can find that mark with the with the razor blade then with the uh, square laid across there I'll go ahead and score the line where the fret slot is gonna go so here's another one go ahead and score that line another one Okay, so for each of these scored lines, the purpose for scoring the line is to, for me, is to just give the uh, fret saw a slot to follow. And then you can go ahead and cut each fret and you still have to be careful because the saw will jump out of that slot but this way you can see that you're following the razor blade line and you did a pretty good job of it. All right so that's the way I used to do them. So here's the walnut fretboard with the fret slots cut in it. And just about ready to be glued onto the neck and then tapered and cut the size. Uh, and then usually what I'll do is put the frets in after I have it glued onto the onto the neck. But um, the newer method that I'm trying out now involves the templates that Ben has sent me, thinking that this might be an easier way to do it. Here is the prototype, uh, I guess, sample of Ben's idea for marking frets. This is a sheet that has a plastic, um, plastic covering with a sticky back. It's uh, mounted on a paper back. And so this is the uh, mandolin or soprano ukulele scale, around uh, 13.7 in inches. And uh, a couple of different strengths of line. I'm thinking the hit, the two heavier um, lines will probably be easiest to work with. So I'm going to give it a try and see how it works. Okay, here I have cut a thin piece off of the um, sheet that Ben sent me. And it's got the fret lines marked out for a mandolin. And I'm going to peel the backing off and stick it onto my fret material, fretboard material. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to peel the backing off. And we have a piece of kind of sticky plastic that I'm going to stick onto my fretboard material right about where I want it. So that way it can't slide, it's on there, and pretty much the same way as I use my, my homemade wooden template, I'm going to go ahead with my razor blade and nick right where the fret line is. Just try to get it right in the middle of that fret line, which you can't see because my hands are in the way. 
but I'll make that Nick. Let's see. Yeah, so there I'm putting it right in the middle of the fret line. Making a little indentation in the fretboard material. And I'll do that for each of the frets. And then let's see what happens when I pull pull the mylar plasticky material up. Comes right up very nicely. Still has some stick, still has stickiness. So I'm imagining I could reuse thin strips of this several times until the um, stickiness disappears. But I think this is going to be a pretty good and accurate system for marking my frets. When I have more time, I'll do an entire fretboard and we'll see what happens. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for coming up with this great idea. And uh, I think it might be useful for a lot of people who are, as I was, intimidated by measuring and marking frets.